In this video, we'll see how to do the full hypothesis testing procedure using the TI graphing calculator and conducting a z-test. We'll be documenting our report in a document. Let's we'll start just by labeling it hypothesis tests. We're going to be testing the mean and we're looking at the situation where the population standard deviation is known. We'll be using example 9.14 from the textbook. Start by reading the problem. Jeffrey, as an eight-year-old, established a mean time of 16.43 seconds for swimming the 25-yard freestyle with a standard deviation of 0 0.8 seconds. His dad, Frank, thought that Jeffrey could swim the 25-yard freestyle faster using goggles. Frank bought Jeffrey a new pair of expensive goggles and timed Jeffrey for 15 25-yard freestyle swims. For the 15 swims, Jeffrey's mean time was 16 seconds. Frank thought that the goggles helped Jeffrey to swim faster than the 16.43 seconds. Conduct a hypothesis test using a preset alpha equals 0.05 Assume that the swim times for the 25-yard freestyle are normal. With any hypothesis test, we will need a pair of hypotheses. And uh, you worked on that in the last unit and setting those up. So we're going to use H0 for the null hypothesis. And since we're testing the mean, we're going to use the lowercase Greek letter mu to represent the population mean. For the alternative, you can do h with a subscript of 1 or with a subscript of a. Either is acceptable. Again, we'll use the Greek letter mu. Now, to determine the inequality sign in the alternative hypothesis, we need to figure out the claim. In this case, the claim is Frank, his claim that the goggles help Jeffrey to swim faster. By Jeffrey swimming faster, he would have a lower average time. Thus, the claim is that the average time, mu, with the goggles, would be less than his other average time, 16.43. The null hypothesis would be that there is no difference using the goggles, and that the average time is still 16.43. Next, we want to determine what the type of test is. In this case, we have a left-tailed test, since the inequality symbol in the alternative hypothesis points to the left. The type of distribution is normal, since we the population standard deviation. The level of significance is given in the problem. Alpha is equal to 0 0.05. Now this is the case where we have sample statistics. So let's go ahead and keep a record of those. There's a population standard deviation that's given. Zero point eight. So we're told that right here. And there's a sample mean so 
uh, x bar is 16, the sample size n is equal to 15, right? Because Frank timed Jeffrey for 15 of these swims. So those are the 15 individuals in the sample. At this point, we're ready to put this information into the graphing calculator and use it. So we'll hit stat, then go to the right to the tests menu, and we are doing a Z test. So we'll go to Z test, the first option. Now, if you had a set of data, you could put those in the list editor and then use the data version. We have summary statistics, so we will select stats. This first entry, mu sub zero, is the number that shows up in the hypotheses. In this case, it's 16.43. There's sigma, our population standard deviation. We know that's 0 0.8. X bar, our sample mean, is 16 and n, our sample size is 15. Next we choose the nature of the alternative hypothesis. We want to choose the middle choice for less than for left-tailed test. And we'll go to calculate. And we have our p-value. The TI calculator uses a lowercase p for the p-value. You can use lowercase p or uppercase p. Uppercase p is preferred since lowercase p is used for the population proportion, and that may become confusing in certain tests. All right, now we want to get a picture of this, and from the main page of Experience 12, we have the p-value graph generators. For the normal distribution, use the first link. Now the mean will be the number that we had in the hypotheses. That's the 16.43. And the test is a left-tailed test, so we want to go below and we want to put in the value for the sample mean, which is 16. The standard deviation here is the sampling distribution standard deviation. In order to find this, we need to take the standard deviation we were given for the population which is 0 0.8 and we need to adjust that by dividing by the square root of the sample size. For an explanation of why this is done, it's the experience 8. Put in that standard deviation and hit recalculate. Go ahead and grab that picture. And we'll paste it in. Next we'll make our decision. For the decision we will compare the p-value with the level of significance p-value is 0 0.01868 approximately. The level of significance is 0 0.05. In this case the p-value is less than the level of significance. So we reject the null hypothesis since p 
is less than alpha. Now we need to take this statement and bring it back to the original claim. The original claim was that Frank thought the goggles helped Jeffrey swim faster, and this corresponded to the alternative hypothesis. Since we rejected the null hypothesis, we have enough evidence to support the alternative, which supports Frank's claim. So we can say something along the lines of the sample data supports the claim that Jeffrey swims faster with the new pair of goggles. And the hypothesis test is now complete. In the next video, we'll see how to deal with data sets and conduct a t-test.